Hey everyone, Rodev here, and welcome back to the Simulator series. Today we're going to be doing part 7, where uh, we will do the storage system. So basically for the system, what I'm going to be doing is making one button, and basically with that you can upgrade the amount of storage you have to store your strength. So uh, basically for that, what I have is one frame right here. This is available for free, and I'm actually going to make the whole UI available. So for that, I'm just going to go ahead and publish it, and then um, I'll allow you guys to copy it in for free. So in the description, the first link will be for this UI. You want to go ahead and put it in, and if you already have a frames UI, we might have made it in the last video, go ahead and delete it, and put this one right in. And after you have it in, I'm just going to explain some of the scripts real quick. So run cleanup, basically uh, if this frame is visible, and then you run the game, it's going to make uh, it invisible, as well as any other frames that are visible, they will all become invisible when you run the game or play the game. Next, uh, inside the close script, basically just, you know, makes the frame invisible. Upgrade. Um, uh, basically when the upgrade button is clicked, we will fire the upgrade storage event to the server and I'll show you guys what happens when you fire the event for price um, Basically, this is the uh, loop that sets the text for the price You guys will see that in a minute and for the title obviously there's no script there So after that you can go to go ahead and close the UI and real quick a uh, real quick rather in main UI You need to go to label one and in the local script you need to go uh, down to like line six here and type local C equals leader stats colon wafer child and then cache and um, if you have something else for example scroll down in your leader side script over uh, here whatever you have here so if it's money you can put money for us it's cash and I'm just gonna put cash right there and then what we can do is go ahead and copy this entire thing paste it there and change the s to a C and you can leave this s right there after that what we can do is go ahead and close off uh, all the UI and then inside uh, server script service, go ahead and insert a new script called upgrade storage. And make sure in replicated storage inside your remotes folder, you have a upgrade storage remote event. And once you have all of that there, go to your upgrade storage script. And inside the script, uh, you can go ahead and copy this out. So basically local rs equals game colon get service replicated storage. This gives us the storage right here, replicated storage. And then uh, we can wait for child remotes. That gives us this object right here. And then the events, so remotes, wafer child, upgrade storage, there it is, upgrade storage. And then now we can, uh, what we're going to do is actually make a function so that um, whenever it's called, we pass through the actual player that called it, and then we can upgrade their storage. So basically we get the player's leader stats, we get the player's uh, storage, and then we get the cache from the leader stats. Then we check if they have uh, more than or equal to the storage that value times 50. By the way, um, say you have uh, six storage max, six times 50, that's 300. So the first storage upgrade will cost 300. Obviously you can change it, you know, make it like 25, which I might do, the, um, which I might do for the sake of the series. Um, just make it 25. If you change it here, you will actually need to go back to the UI and change it inside. So go to frames, go to upgrade storage, go to upgrade, um, Actually, now go to the price, go to the local script here, and just change those 50 to the same thing you have there. So um, I'm just gonna have it as 25 for this series. But after that, it will subtract the cache and uh, you know take away the cache for the upgrade. And then after that, you will get your storage. So it's gonna be multiplied by two. So every time you upgrade, you'll get times two. Um, so that's basically how we're doing it. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's pretty much it, honestly. Um, your upgrade storage system will be good now. Let's go ahead and test it out. So basically, uh, right now, um, I have 12 storage because I've upgraded a bit. It's out of 5, I'm not exactly sure why, but when I do uh, use it, it goes up, stuck at 12, I sell. And there we go, I got 12 cash. I can charge it right back up. Not really charge it, but you know what I mean. Get my strength back up. And also, we will be adding tool animation, so don't worry. And we can sell. And as you can see, we're back down. So now, I'm actually going to go ahead and reset all the data, and I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So you just want to go inside your leader stats script, go to save stats, and right here, uh, this data store right here, just go ahead and change it to anything, like any, anything inside these quotations, that's a different data store. So say I have data store A, I play the game, I get some data, and I change it to B, all the data will be reset, but say I want all the data in A back, all I can do is change it back to A, and we'll have all the data in A back. And I can go ahead and hit play, and all the data is reset, this is what a default player sees when they join. Uh, five, um, you know, storage and all that. So I'm going to charge it back up, I'm going to sell it, and we got 5. So in here we can actually see the price. Right now it's 125, so if I keep selling, you know, it's 125. Basically, um, what I do need to do is give myself the cash, so I'm going to click server, I'm going to go to players, my player, 
blue your stats, and then cash, and then I'm going to give myself the amount of money I need, so I'm going to do 126. Obviously, it will work with 125, but now I'm going to hit upgrade. And as you see, now it's uh, red because I can't really uh, do it anymore. Um, I don't know why it's still 125. I'm going to have to sort that out. But as you can see, now my storage is 10. And it's all working now. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and sort out the bug with the price. So inside price, um, spawn loop. Um, honestly, it should be working. Two string price. That's a new price. Yep, yeah, should be working. Um, let's see, 10 times 25 is 250, so it should have definitely increased. All right, guys, I'm back. So I found the issue. It should already be fixed since you guys got the free model for this. Um, but it wasn't for me, obviously, since I still haven't uploaded the free model. But basically, uh, one more thing: go to main UI, go to label one, text label, and then inside the local script, go ahead and copy this line right here. And delete all these changes we made, just go ahead and type while, wait, do, hit enter, and then right here should get an end. Go ahead and paste uh, that line back in, and hit play, we'll be good. So now everything is good, the storage is showing as it should. If I open this up, I need a thousand to upgrade. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a um, thousand. And as you can see when I click, it's green by the way, and when I click upgrade, back to zero, it's 2000 now, my storage also increased. So anyways, that's how you do it. As you see, I'm still getting two. Obviously, that, oh, we're going to add a shop where you can buy weights. But other than that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.